Okay, I'm going to do a little video on the two different ways to get the Durex build back. I'm using a fire stick. It's pretty much the same with any device. It assumes you have a clean Kodi installed. This is for the Kodi version. There's also a Dorex Dork version. I'm going to go into the file linked app first. If you don't have that, there are ways to get that. I'm going to assume you have that. Go into file linked. The file, the number, the code you want to put in is 9903-2523. Hit enter or your center button on Fire Stick. And there are three files in this file link store. You don't need all three. You just need the two that are going to correlate to the method you're going to use. If you're going to use Kodi, you need the Durex Wizard plugin and the Durex Build 9.1 Clean. If you're going to use the Dork app, you need the Dorex Build 9.1 Clean and the Dork app. Okay, I'm going to do the Kodi one first. So I'm going to download the Wizard plugin. And that will be pretty quick because that's a small file. Then just leave it like that. Don't open it from here. Now I'm going to go down to the Durex build. Now this one takes a little while because it's the full build. I don't really have a pause on this, so go get yourself a drink or do five jumping jacks or go yell at your dog or something because this is going to take about a minute or two to get this totally downloaded. So listen to the dulcet tones of the New Age various artists that are playing in the background. As you see, the progress bar is going uh, rather slowly. And I'm just using a little Canon camera here because I'm too lazy to go get my cell phone. And I don't really have a pause on this camera. So you're just going to have to be patient. But again, these are the two files if you want to use a Kodi install not the Dorex IPK install. Uh, the good thing about this, this will take a little while on this video, but when I do the Dork video it'll be quick because that file will already be in there. Now just a little bit of knowledge uh, while this is doing this. A lot of you have come to streaming um, relatively new to file management and that's a key part of it. I know some of you are having trouble navigating to where these files are stored. If you think of a file system as a tree with branches, you have the main branches and then you have the branches that come off the branches and more branches coming off there. Um, everything that is installed on an Android system or any system, Windows, Linux, any system, has a file structure. So when you go to install the re to restore your backup, you need to be able to navigate up and down the branches to be able to get to the right place everything is stored. When using the file linked app, they are stored in your internal storage, which for Kodi they call it external storage because it's external from Kodi, but it's on your device storage in a subfolder called file linked and a subfolder from file linked called download. That's where everything you download from file linked will land. So when you go to use those files, you need to be able to properly navigate up the branches, then back down the branches to get to where that is. Some of you have gone in and says there's nothing there, it doesn't show anything. That's because you're not in the right location. You're not where the actual file has downloaded to. So once this finishes, um, we're going to go ahead and open Kodi and get Kodi set up, get the wizard set up, and then get the build restored. That'll all be much quicker than this. This is about a half a gig of information that is downloading. and. Um, I think someone in my house is downloading another file somewhere, so this might be slowed down. And my internet is generally pretty fast, but one never knows. Okay, I'm going to stop talking for about 30 seconds and see where this goes. Of course, you can always fast forward the video at this point as well. Wake up, people. It's getting there.
had I thought about this ahead of time, I probably should have gone ahead and downloaded this file so you wouldn't have to wait. But at this point, it should be about another minute. Dulcet Tones music should have the Jeopardy theme song, but I have no control over that. Come on, just a little more. Hooray, we live through it. Okay, now if you notice, they turn into triangles. I'm just going to get out of this here. That's stupid. I'm not in there. Okay. Okay, now they are both downloaded. Do not click the play button to open them. That is not necessary. I'm going to go ahead and download the, Dor the Dork app as well, as long as we're in filing for now. I will not need that for the Kodi install, but I'm just going to get them all together. So when I do the Dork video, it's already there. This should be pretty quick. It's just a smaller file. And actually, I'm going to just let that continue downloading. I'm going to go back to my home button. Okay. Now I'm going to open I'm going to open Kodi. This is a clean install of Kodi. So we've already gone in. Well, I'm going to just go in again, double check. Go into system, the system cog. Go into add-ons. Make sure that unknown sources is turned on. That's off, that's on. Okay, confirm yes. Back arrow, now you're going to go up to this little box icon, that's your add-on browser. Click that. Again, this is in Kodi, remember. Now I'm going to install from zip file. Now this is the tricky part, well this isn't as tricky as the, uh, the build, but you're going to go to external storage and you're going to scroll down to file link. There's file link. Then you're going to go to Downloads. Now there's the files that we put in there. What The one we want to install is the Plugin Programs Durex Wizard Zip. And you'll notice on the screen, it'll come up. It says Add-on Installed. It's going to go through a few other things, some clearing cache. And there might be a, uh, an XML error because it's, not, it's trying to point to the servers that no longer exist. But just ignore that. It's not a problem. OK. I see a repo error because the repo does not exist. <coughs> Okay, then I'm going to go back, and if you notice, the add-on is there. Okay, now I'm going to go to the Durex wizard, run that, and I'm going to go to maintenance. And then I'm going to go to backup and restore. And then I'm going to go to Restore Local Build. Now this is where some of you got messed around because of the navigation. Okay? If I go into Install Local Build, it's going to say, do you want to install? Say Continue. Okay, and then it's basically just clearing files. But here's where you're gonna, you get stuck because there's nothing there. There's nothing to restore. Well, if you notice those two little dots, that is the directional thing to bring you up a directory level. 
So the first level it brings you up to is inside Cody. The second level, the third level, the fourth level, the fifth level, the sixth level. The sixth level is up enough where you're in your actual device storage. Now we can come down to file linked downloads and this is where you want to choose the Dorex zip file. This is the build and it's going to stay in install lo installing local build. It's going to run through the files and this will take another minute or so. Thank you for your patience. We're at a 10 minute mark so hopefully you have 10 or 12 minutes in your day to watch this or fast forward it. But once this is completed we'll be able to force close then open Kodi and have the Dorex build. Now this particular copy of the build was compliments of Veronica. This is a nice clean build with some of the add-ons that she prefers that are all good add-ons because she's so bright and attentive to these things. So you'll have her clean build with current working add-ons. Now there will be a few errors, things like Metallica and a couple of things which again don't exist or have changed repos. And again, this is going to be an exercise in you learning to maintain add-ons and repos, but you will have our beloved Dorex build to work from as a base. And uh, there's plenty of great videos. I know Ken had made a bunch of videos about changing add-ons, moving add-ons, changing repos. It's really not hard. You just have to take it one step at a time. And if you're new to this, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. But it's worth it because then you have the great layout that we've come to know and love from Durex. And uh, you can live happily ever after. Now this file linked store, I will just leave there indefinitely because it doesn't cost anything. And the files are hosted on archive.org. That's free, so that doesn't cost anything. And uh, you can just do this whenever. And if you have new devices that you want to put it on, have at it. Now the other thing I will tell you, if you have a working copy of Durex that you do like the add-ons and how you've set it up, you can go into the wizard and go into backup and restore and create your own backup. That will create a zip file. That zip file will land in the, the My Build directory of the, the Durex or Kodi install. If you copy that to a card or send it to Dropbox or a cloud service, you can use that um, in lieu of this pre-done uh, zip file of the, of the clean build. That's totally up to you because if you have one that you like, you can use it. If you have none, you can use this one and, and work from there. And if you notice, it's running through all the files, all the files that the incredible developers of Durex have put together for you over the years. And all the repos are listed. And again, repos do change. Developers come and go. As if you've been around more than five minutes on this scene, you know that that happens on a semi-regular basis. Uh, it's just a matter of keeping up with it. Come on, baby. Go across that line. That almost went into screensaver mode, so I just clicked the left navigational wheel on this fire stick and brought the screen brightness back. And again, this basic process will work on any Android device. I'm just a Fire Stick lover expert, so that's what I have all over my house, all over my family. Every friend I know or have ever known, <laughs> it's just a great device for a great price, and you can have them on every single TV. Almost done. Okay. Okay, now, force close. See, it says reload profile. You don't want to do that. You want to force close. Boom. Okay. Now we have Cody. Okay, see my different apps? There's Cody. Now when Cody opens up, it'll say Cody. And you hear the familiar comforting dulcet jingle tones, which we all come to know and love, which means, yay, it's Durex time. And there you have Durex, and it'll take its normal time to load and do its thing and, you know, update files and clear clear caches and clear thumbnails and all the things you're used to, used to seeing. But that's the Durex build that we actually, now there's some log files because, again, some of the stuff is no longer there, but just ignore that. Okay, and there you have uh, a working, co a working 
Durex build installed on Cody. Okay. I'm not gonna let this totally finish here. I'm gonna force close it, which you shouldn't necessarily always do, but I'm just doing it for expediency at this point. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. Uh, let's, let's just make sure it gets out of there. And it's still working. Okay. But anyway, that's the basic idea of getting a... Here we go, force close. Okay, that's just a basic example of a working Durex install on a clean Kodi. And the next one will be using the Dorex app.